this video I will be showing you guys my budget perfume collection most of these perfumes if not all I bought them on special or on a sale and most of them were online I think only two were not online when you buy perfumes online some websites have the disclaimer that this is a parallel import and I searched that term up because it worries some people some people think that just because it says parallel import that that perfume is fake so what I searched the most easiest explanation I could find was one on Wikipedia which simply means that it is a non-counterfeit product which is imported from another country without the permission of the intellectual property owner which simply means the perfume is fine like it's the original perfume but because it is not certified by the property or the the, the owner of that perfume you might have defects on the on the perfume so that is why some people complain which when they get the perfumes the smell doesn't last as long and it does not smell like what they're used to so with mine from my side i haven't had a problem with my perfumes all of them have been fine so far where well, in terms of me purchasing them online throughout the video you will hear me mentioning words like projection longevity or long longevity and sillage. Sillage is basically the trail that you leave behind. So when you have the perfume on and you're in a certain area and you leave that area, how long does the perfume stay and does the perfume stay there? Projection simply means the smell from you to your environment. So from here to the camera or you know straight when I'm in the room how far can the perfume project and how far can a sm person smell my perfume and longevity or longevity is simply how long the perfume lasts when buying perfumes online especially when you don't know the perfume or you've never smelled the perfume that is called a blind buy so my perfumes were bought that were bought online were blind buys and what I do is when I see a perfume and I find it interesting I google reviews that will website that I use the most to review perfumes or to read reviews and um, see what the perfume has or contains which I don't really look into it that much I just need to see if it is a sweet perfume a girly a, a neutral perfume a masculine perfume but the website that I go to is fragrantica.com so when you search for perfume and you search on fragrantica.com it gives you the option of which perfume you're looking for and then when you scroll down it also gives lets you see what notes are in the perfume and when you scroll further down it shows you the reviews people um or what reviews or what people are saying about this perfume if they like it if they don't they don't like it how long they think it lasts and stuff like that so i will be taking notes from the from that website about the perfume because I don't really pay much attention as long as I like the perfume and how it smells then I am good <laughs> for my first perfume I will start with this Zadig and Zadig and Voltaire this is her this is a 50 ml and the notes in this perfume are you have your vanilla it is sweet it is woody lagnotic balsamic powdery warm spicy and also soft spicy according to the list on the website so this is one of my favorite perfumes in the collection as as you can see i don't know if you can see the light is too much like i have been spraying this a lot like this was my per like favorite favorite scent. Now this scent, although it has like sweet elements on it, it I consider it a neutral perfume. So it is not too girly or too masculine. It just has a beautiful balance. But from my side, it falls a little bit on the feminine side. Um, so. For the notes, I can smell the vanilla in it and how much soft and powdery it is. So this is a this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. If you're interested, if you're not a fan of fragrances that are too sweet, then I can recommend this one because of the vanilla and the softness of the perfume. 
the perfume generally on me it lasts the almost the whole day so when i spray it on around um nine o'clock nine a.m and then when i come back around five a five p.m in the evening obviously the scent dies down as the day goes on but this one generally lasts the whole day because i can still smell it on my clothes that's why i mostly um spray my perfume when i spray it on my clothes i can still smell it at the end of the day in terms of projection depending on how much you put on people can smell it when you walk into a room um like i said depending on how much you sprayed on people can smell it and then with the silage it does not leave that much of a trail behind so it is not like for the projection it can be a head turner but for the silage i really don't think it leaves <laughs> the scent behind once you leave the room because the projection is strong when you put it but throughout the day it dies down so the silage is not really that strong next up from the same line i think this those are neck and neck but this is the one that i use the most and it's still zadig and Volta girls can do oh sorry girls can say anything i was recommended girls can do anything but this one was on sale so i decided to go for this one and you guys i love i love this perfume like i i really i love this perfume this is also a 50 ml for my perfume i like going 50 ml the max is 50 ml i don't like going to 100 ml because these perfumes stay for a long time and i don't use them that much so 50 ml is the safest for me to buy so the top notes on this is vanilla it is also powdery it has some ember it is aromatic iris floral musky earthy sweet and fresh and from my side I can smell the sweetness but the sweetness is not overwhelming it's just a nice and girly sweetness the powdery is there but it's not as soft and powdery as the first one that i showed you guys and it's just it is nice and this one the first one lasts longer than this one and it i, I can say in terms of silage and projection it is the same but th that one has more projection than this one and yeah i mean if you're a girl and you're starting out with perfume i recommend this one and girls can do anything i also wanted to buy girls can do anything but i just did not have the money at the time and it was not on sale so it would not have been a budget perfume but honestly the design of the bottle the texture of the oh guys i just i love this perfume Next up, this one has some dust on it because I don't use it that much. I'm not a fan. <laughs> this is, I think, the second perfume that I bought. I, the first perfume that I bought was Britney Spears Private Show and I love that perfume. And then I bought this one um, at the airport. So this is just Elizabeth Arden Red Door. Um, when I bought this, there were two inside. There was a small one and this big one. And I finished the small one. And this is like about just above a half. Which tells, I bought this in 2019. And it tells you, Uguti, I really am not that much of a fan. It's not bad. It's really, it's a nice, it's a nice and soft powdery perfume and i love the bottle is beautiful by the way the bottle is beautiful and the main accords in the scent is that it is fruity it is sweet it is floral it is woody it has some honey it also it's also musky ozonic powdery green and patchouli on it um when you first spray the perfume i can smell the sweetness i'm not sure about the fruitiness but the floral notes i can pick up the floral notes in it it's it's a nice perfume guys i don't know why i'm not a fan of this perfume because 
I feel like when I put it on, I need to put a lot on so that I can get the projection from it so that I can smell it. In terms of the ciliage, it is not that strong. It's not that strong. Um, the note that it leaves behind after you've sprayed, it's a really soft and like fresh powdery scent behind. It's, I guess on the skin, it's nice. It's really nice. I don't know why I don't like this perfume, but when I first got it, I liked it. And then it just, I never used it that much since I got the others. But yeah, this is Elizabeth Arden Red Door. Next up is, this is too bright, Jill Sander Softly. And this, I love the bottles. <laughs> That's what attracted me to the perfume. <coughs> Excuse me. When I saw it, this was very affordable, by the way. It was very affordable. I love how it smells. The projection, you have to put on a lot so that people can smell it on you. It does not leave a trail. The ciliage is not that strong. The longevity, oh, it's just a bit below that one. I can't really say in terms of hours because I don't keep track. I just smell it at the end of the day. But this one, uh, you know, these, this smell nice. So the top or uh, the main accords are that it is floral, it is musky, it has some rose in it, it is powdery, yellow floral, sweet, fresh, amber, white floral, and savory. So when I smell this perfume, this is a very soft and girly perfume. It has like a... Like a soft, soft baby perfume. Like, you know that baby smell, but not like the baby, baby smell, but very nice and mature baby smell. <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense. That's how people describe the Jill Sander perfumes that I have. But this was going to be my top perfume if it actually had a nice projection and a silly arch because it really, really, really smells amazing. Like, it smells so nice. I like putting this um, when I go to bed, when I feel funky. <laughs> I put it in, I, um, I go to bed. Next up is Simply, also by Jill Sander. This one is amazing. Like... It smells calming, like that calming baby product scent, like the beautiful scent. If they took those baby products and made it for adults, this is it. Like that beautiful powdery smell. It's just nice. This one is beautiful for when you're going to sleep. People are also notice as most people spray this when they go to bed because it is very calming for throughout the day i'm not really a fan of it there's a plane passing by because it doesn't have a strong projection and see large so it won't really last you that much throughout the day these two won't last you that much throughout the day but this if you want a photo perfume with a nice bottle and stuff i recommend you get this one and that one if you like how the bottle um, looks like and you don't mind that it doesn't last the whole day as long as you're gonna put on quite a lot of like sprays on yourself just to get the right amount uh, okay and when I first decided to start a perfume collection these are the two that I bought the 007 and this one is finished <laughs> this one is almost finished i just used to use i use this to freshen up throughout the day they don't last they smell nice but they do not last at all it's just like a five minute walk in and out okay you were here you just sprayed perfume but they don't really last at all projection dololo ciliage dololo it's just like putting on um spray like your normal can or spray in a can deodorant 
my, like you, you understand what I'm talking about. So they don't last that much. So for this one, this one, this is a James Bond 007 for women too. Eon Productions and the main accords are fruity, sweet, floral, rose, vanilla, woody, champagne, leather, powdery, and aldehyde something. This this is a beautiful scent. Unfortunately, it does not last at all. It's just for you to so, 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 a lot so that you can get the feel of it. If I can get a uh, a perfume that is priced higher that smells similar or that this is a knockoff off i will definitely buy it because i love the scent of this perfume the other one so uh, this is for woman three this one has papaya pineapple yang lang frank napani i don't know what this means solar floral uh, sandalwood benzoin and patchouli this is a very sweet perfume this is a girly perfume it is a nice and soft perfume this is also a beautiful scent unfortunately like the other one it does not last it doesn't have that much projection it is just a spray that you put in your handbag just to refresh yourself throughout the day next up we have her secret temptation by antonio banderas this perfume I was confused by. Like the the main accords are it is sweet, it has patchouli, rose, it is woody, powdery, iris, earthy, musky, amber, and also warm, spicy. This one is tricky, ne? Because when you first smell it, like the first thing that you're hit with is a very sharp smell, which I cannot pinpoint because I really don't know perfumes that much, but it is a really sharp smell. But once it dies, like once it settles on your skin and you go throughout the day, it becomes very soft and sweet and it is a lovely perfume. So when you first spray, spray it, it has a nice projection throughout the room. Um, but throughout the day, it does not last that much and... Uh, it just dies down quicker and faster the silage it doesn't have that much silage it just has silage when you spray it whenever you spray it for a couple of minutes it stays there then it disappears but when you once you wear it because it doesn't have a strong projection obviously it won't have a strong silage so this perfume if you want something different because it is sweet but i'm not sure if the rose is disturbing the sweetness but i like yeah, that's fine. That's why it's not finished because I don't know how to feel about this perfume. But I like when it settles on the skin, just not when I first spray it. And then I went on Fine Fragrance Collection because I wanted to see if I can buy high-end brand perfumes and if I would like them when they sit on my skin so I bought three of this and the other one I gave to my mother because I did not like it so for these because I'm not sure which um specific specific perfume it is so these are just generic perfumes they're not the original so they take the notes of the original perfume and they concentrate it a lot in oil so that it smells similar to that but it lasts longer so the first one will be black orchard by tom ford this is a this is a beautiful scent. I think today I'm gonna go back to these ones. I'm just because I haven't sprayed on perfume. I still I still need to go to work. I think I'm gonna choose between these two. This is Black Orchard. You guys know how Black Orchard smell by like Tom Ford. I'm just gonna put up a picture on the guide that I used on the the, the the website and then you guys can just search for yourself the top notes so i don't want to give you false information because i'm really not sure which specific perfume because i went to a perfume shop just to compare how this one smell and how the originals smell so with these ones the originals smell um softer so the smell is more like not subtle but it is nice and soft this one the concentration is high so it might be a bit too much if you spray on a lot so this is a nice and too 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 perfume you don't 
um, put it in a lot because the concentration is high and it is an oil perfume so when I compared it to the ones in the shops or the regional ones they were just more softer and luxurious if I can say that so the back orchard wine is my favorite it smells nice it's beautiful it's a neutral perfume it can be worn by males and by females it's just it's beautiful it's a, I love it I love it if I have the money I will add this one like the original perfume and as you can see I have used it but because of the high concentration I don't use it every day because it gets too much on the nose if you use it every day and the concentration is high so this would last a very long time and then the other one is Chanel number no. five when I went to the shops and and um wanted to smell these there were many chanel number no. five so i'm not sure which chanel number no. five this is <laughs> but i'll just show you the one i bought online and chanel is just beautiful guys it's beautiful it is soft it is powdery it is just creamy it's it's beautiful it's beautiful and when I smelled this one and the original one I think I preferred this one more to the original one I don't know how or why but yeah the other one was I'm not sure I don't even remember what it was but it smelled similar to Chanel but it was more sharp and more mature and I didn't like it so I just gave it to my mother because I was using it as a toilet <laughs> spray my mother decided to take it the last one is Alavanta, a South African brand. So I just decided to just try it out and support local brands. So I've only used half of this bottle. Um, if you're interested in checking this guy's um, perfumes, I'll just try and leave a link below. This perfume, it's been sitting for a while. Like, it's been sitting for a while because <laughs> I haven't used it that much this perfume is you can smell that it's a perfume it has a high concentration of I don't know what because he didn't really say what what was in the notes or what was happening in the notes it's a nice perfume but it is very sharp and a bit strong it doesn't last that long and the projection is just normal it is however better than these so it's just above these ones um, I also don't don't use this one because I am confused on what I should be smelling it smells it smells nice shit. it's just you can't pinpoint what's happening in it and I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so I had about 12 bottles of perfume before I gave the other one to my mother that's a lot <laughs> it's not that lot but yeah those are budget perfumes the reason why I decided to go for budget perfumes was because I believe that each and every price point has gems in it so if you just want to go straight ahead and purchase expensive perfumes or the original you can go ahead but I feel like sometimes when you buy the original it doesn't have what you expect and you become disappointed so that is why I decided to spread my 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 collection radar if i can say that i wanted to buy two more one from zara and dolce and gabbana in tents i think i'll put up a picture but zara and time i haven't had time to go to zara and the dolce and gabbana one just is not going on the sale or that i wanted to go to so i have to wait till the end of the year and i also decided i before i purchase was nice before i purchase any new perfumes i'll need to finish some because i don't spray them each and every day and so it makes them sit longer and i don't like that so i'm just gonna finish a few before i add <coughs> other perfume so i'll end this video here thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe this is love and out i will see you guys in Bye. Over meadows, inside sprung